explain this how you used to say I'm fantastic? Cause y'all notice my voice is a little better. I mean, my nose is still dripping a lot, but <laughs> at least I don't sound like a duck. <laughs> I am so excited about today. You guys, it involves Cheetos. When something involves Cheetos, it means it's a good day. I'm making flaming hot Cheeto bread. Homemade bread made with all the yeastiness and all that stuff, flavored with flaming hot Cheetos. I think it's gonna be iconic, life-changing. I bet it's really good with butter on it. I don't know, I feel like it's gonna be good with butter. And like Everything. <laughs> I got the lime kind because it's my fave. Got a little hint of lime. I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna take a view. <laughs> this is probably not good for my sore throat, but I don't care. I don't. <laughs> mm. Ah. Okay. No, it's gonna be so much fun. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to become a tomato and also hit that notification bell so that whenever I post a video, you'll get a notification straight to your phone that says, "Timmy posted on a video. Go watch it or else." I don't think it's gonna say that, but. It might fart in your face. <laughs> Let's go make this bread! Okay, first step is obviously food processing. Our Flaming Hot Cheetos, so that they can, you know, get into the dough, you feel me? So I'm just gonna pour them all into here. I'm just gonna put the lid on. And I want this to be like, as small of crumbs as possible. I want it to be like flour, like Flaming Hot flour, you feel me? So let's go. Wait, there's some getting stuck here. Get down! I think it's done. That is perfect. Look at this, you guys. Let me show you the texture. It's like breadcrumbs, see? And it almost kind of holds together because of all the grease in it. That's how my body holds together. <laughs> so nice. I could literally just like eat this or shove it on my ass. This has so many purposes. I could do so many things with this. Okay, so I got my Flaming Hot Powder. I'm gonna set a little bit aside on a little plate, just that much, because I'm gonna use this as the topping of my bread. So I'm just gonna put that away for now, and I'm just gonna leave the rest of this in here until I'm ready to use it. Okay, so now's the fun part. It's the yeast part. I'm just gonna start by getting some warm water. I think it has to be like kind of warm or hot or something to make the yeast dissolve correctly. I think this is good. I'm just gonna dump in half of my packet of yeast. Oh my goodness, this looks so weird. What is that texture? Oh, it smells. Oh my god, it smells like dirty bread. <laughs> Apparently I have to stir it in until it dissolves. So, I don't know how long that takes. Let's see. Okay, it's looking mostly dissolved. I see a few little specks of yeast still in there, so I'm gonna keep mixing. Oh, I'm nervous! It looks fully dissolved. It looks almost like milk. Did you just come out with cow titty? <laughs> Apparently now, to see if it's activated, I read online, I don't know if this is true, but it should like foam up in the next 10 minutes. I just saw that online. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but we'll see. I'm gonna let this sit for like 10 minutes and just see what happens, okay? I'm gonna leave the camera on so there can be a nice little time lapse. If there is bubbles, it will look real cool. <laughs> Wait a second, I just read online that like you have to add sugar first before the yeast for the foamy bubbly action to happen. I do see some bubbles though, those are nice. Ooh. I'm gonna add the sugar so maybe it'll start bubbling, I don't know. Ooh. Okay, sugar is in. I'm gonna mix that and see what happens. Any bubbles? My yeast is alive, it's laying live. I can continue with the recipe now. Okay, let me zoom back out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna add some salt. Weird girl. Like that much, that's good. I'm gonna also add a little bit of canola oil. Like that much. Now I'm just gonna mix this together real quick. And it smelled like fish and can't tuna. Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna add my flaming hot crumbs. 
Yeah. That's what's gonna give the bread the main flavor. And I'm also gonna add some red food coloring because I want my bread to be super red so that it can truly represent the Cheeto. Perfect. And I'm gonna add a little bit of orange just to give it that fiery tinge. Like, that much. Perfect. So now I'm gonna blend this all together. It's probably gonna look really gross, but it's okay. We're not done yet. China had a lot of hair. Okay, perfect. This is super lumpy and disgusting. Oh, just the way I like it. Now I'm gonna add a cup of flour. Perfect. I'm gonna mix this in. John, I like to keep it like a bush. Perfect. Now I'm gonna add in some more flour. And this should make a full-on bread dough. I think I'm just going with my hands and just get this done. You feel me? Okay, so we've got our bread dough here. It looks great. It's a nice firm dough. It's a little like crummy because of the flaming hot Cheetos, but the flavor is gonna make it worth it. Cause you gotta make it a good bread ball. <laughs> okay, so now I have to knead the dough. I don't really know how to knead. I've never kneaded anything before. I don't need you in my life. <laughs> okay, so this is apparently how to knead. So I go like this, you like push it out all around and then you fold it over, I think. And then you push it down again. I'm just gonna keep doing this. I hope I'm doing it right. Apparently kneading makes the dough really fluffy or something and makes it like rise better. I don't know. So I'm just gonna keep going. Play the music! Okay, so I think that I need it enough. It was really tiring, but I did it. I think that worked because it's like much more elasticy now. So now I'm gonna put it back into its little bowl. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the bowl just to grease things up a bit. It's gonna spread that around. Now I'm gonna put the ball in, swish it around in the oil, and then turn it over so it's all coated in the oil. Perfect. So now I'm gonna set this aside, and I'm gonna let it rise until it's apparently double. Let's hope my yeast works, because I'm gonna be so upset if it doesn't rise, I won't know what to do. <laughs> so I'll be back in like an hour. Hopefully it'll be done rising by then. So my dough has risen a lot. Obviously I poked it a little bit, it's so fun to poke. It literally doubled. I'm so happy that the yeast worked, but it's not done rising yet. Now I have to grease my bread pan with Pamela really well. I really don't want this to stick. And I have to literally just, I guess, put the whole thing in. So I'm gonna plop it in there, flatten it, I guess. And apparently now I have to wait another hour for this to rise again, like literally again. So this is a very long process. I've just been watching a lot of Grey's Anatomy, my favorite show ever. If you don't watch Grey's Anatomy, who are you? I'm just kind of squishing it down to get all the air bubbles out. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this, let it rise for almost another hour, and then it'll be time to bake it. My bread has grown so much. Yo, it's all grown up. It's like seeing my daughter getting married or something. You better find a man that treats you well and encourages your spiciness. Okay, so before I put it into the oven, I'm going to sprinkle on top some flaming hot Cheeto crumbs. I don't know if this is the best idea because I don't think they're gonna stick. Maybe if I like squish them into it like this. Okay, yeah, that works. I think it's gonna add a nice little crunch to the top of the slices. That is Perfect. I'm gonna pop this into the oven for like 30 minutes and hopefully it cooks perfectly. Okay, you guys, I'm pretty sure my bread is done. <clears throat> Excuse me. It looks done. It sounds done. So I'm going to take it out of the pan. I think all the crumbs are gonna fall off, but whatever. Oh my god. Oh my god. It just slipped. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a mess. Okay, let me turn it over. Oh my god. Oh my god. Y'all, the loaf. It's my loaf of bread. Flaming hot bread, literally. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna let it cool for a few minutes and then I'm gonna slice into it. Look at the texture, though. Look at those crumbs, though. Look at that bounce. Oh my god. Mm! Oh my god, you guys. Look at these angles, though. Oh my, I love how it's kind of like a little bit darker on the sides. So pretty. It looks like a perfect loaf. Besides that, get that JJ crack out of here. By the way, sorry if I'm sniffling a lot. It's because my nose is dripping like a boot. Just gonna like go slow. Oh my god. It's really firm bread, you guys. Oh my god, there's steam coming out. Oh my, this is hot. Ugh, I'm sweating. Ah! You guys, it's literally perfect. Are you kidding me? 
Do you guys see this? Look at that. Oh my god, I'm so proud of this. <laughs> I can't stop sniffling. Oh my god. Look, it has those like perfect bread air bubbles in it, you guys. I think I did really good. I think that I did a good job kneading too. Oh my god. I'm shook. I'm gonna taste it. Oh my god. I got the slice here. It is of the butt, and the butt's never the best tasting part, let's be real. It's the most perfect slice I cut off. I feel like the rest of it needs to cool down before I get a good slice of so. I got this slice. I'm gonna taste it first by itself, and then I'm gonna taste it with some butter, which is gonna melt right on. Fresh bread, y'all. Let's just take a moment to see how perfect that texture is though, you guys. Look at that, I'm so proud of that. Okay, so, let's do this. Mmm, mmm, oh my god. It tastes like bread, <laughs> like good bread. The texture is amazing, crispy here because it's like the crust, but, mmm, oh my god. It reminds me of memories for some reason. The Cheeto aspect, it's very slight, like it has a tiny bit of spice at the end of it. It's like the perfect amount of like kick. You know what I'm saying? Now I really want to taste it with butter. This slice isn't super warm anymore, so I'm just gonna have to spread it. One second. Let's taste it. You guys, that is so good. I swear, like flaming hot cheese bread is just like bread but with a spicy kick. It's perfect. It's delicious. I didn't think it would be this good. And with butter, it's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. so much for watching. If you watch the whole thing, you're a true tomato. And so I know who you are. Leave a comment that says spicy bread, salty queen. <laughs> also, don't forget to watch my last video, you guys. I made a starburst pie. It was so delicious, so colorful and beautiful, and it was homemade, y'all. I've been, I'm like a damn homemaker. Look at me making bread. All the links will be popping up around here. Don't forget to subscribe to become a tomato. I will see you guys next video. I love you so much. Oh, boo, boo. <laughs>